Hey guys, this is White Manga here with a new video on how to draw characters in perspective. But here we're going to do the anti view. Uh, previously, when we did a video like this, we did a bird's eye view. I suggest you watch that. That would really help you understand this video a whole lot better. And also, I'll leave a link to that in the, <clears throat> the about section below and or in the annotation on the screen. And the idea is that uh, here is basically the opposite. Uh, anti view is basically imagine you're an ant looking from below. It's basically just looking from below. And all the so basically all the lines in the drawing that would kind of skew towards that, you know, horizontal feel would be curving, almost like a frowny smile on a on an you know on a, on an emoji, I guess. And then the uh, vertical lines would kind of be all uh, coming together at the top. Um, and you understand what I mean a whole lot better as we go uh, as we go on in the tutorial. But basically, imagine drawing a character, you know, head on right but then skewing it to where all the horizontal lines are kind of curving forming some kind of frown and the vertical lines are just coming together at the top that's basically the idea to adopt while going through this somewhat observational tutorial so here we have the chest and it's already I'm already doing that curve and I'm just imagining 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 that it's a flat chest for now uh, for drawings like this uh, it's advisable that uh, you go in with the details after you have you know most of the you know all the hard stuff down with the the pose and the anatomy and things like that like the, the, the foundation of it and then you can add extra things so here that's like the character straight on that I'm sketching on the uh, on the right and then I'm kind of skewing all the lines to have you know again it's almost like think of uh, drawing a background a perspective and you having all the lines going towards the vanishing point or think of uh, speed lines and all the or focus lines and all the lines are going to the focus point so it's almost similar to that yeah so all the lines are giving that feel like that so you, you have it in the back of your mind that all the lines are going towards the same direction uh, at, at least like all the uh, vertical lines in this case and then the horizontal lines are the ones forming that sort of frown like it's uh, the curve is kind of like curving upwards and it's forming like a frown on a smiley face or something like that here you see I you know add uh, you know added the legs I've done like the torso and I added the two le uh, the two legs and here I'm adding the fists because I know where the fists are gonna be and I know where the shoulder starts and I know that the elbow is going to be in the middle and this kind of helps you with the proportion when you're going to, you know, when you're putting things together. You know, the elbow is going to be right there uh, in the mid around the middle. So you, it's almost like uh, plugging in the rest of the forearm and, um, you know, the rest of the arm. Again, the fists will kind of be bigger than they usually would be because they're closer to the ground. So it, everything is kind of bigger. But it it, it, it it gets it, 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 it everything's kind of bigger as you go downwards. But it be, it kind of gets smaller in size as uh, the drawing goes upwards. That's really all it is. Uh, it's almost like thinking of the body in some kind of perspective way. Imagine it's imagining it's like a building and it's going toward uh, you know it's having all the properties of uh, perspective and foreshortening and things like that part of the body some parts of the body get covered up and some parts you almost don't see it all so it's it's it can be confusing at times where you're drawing it and but you but you're not sure of yourself but my advice for things like that is to just draw anyways and if you feel like things don't look right feel free to use the eraser never be afraid to use the eraser most of my problems when I was drawing things like or learning things like this in the beginning was I wasn't sure of myself and I always was uh, maybe I wanted to wait for reference and things like that but the uh, feel free to kind of make mistakes you have an eraser here we're just focusing on pencils so you have you can erase these pencils and um, you know fix afterwards so here we have the foot and we can normally be able to see part of the uh, part of the bottom of the foot like the sole of the, uh, sole of the shoe but you know if we put a floor there unless he's like unless he's like floating in the air right so we're looking we're really looking from below but you know if we put a floor there which I would in, in a second uh, you see how things would change you would not be able to see 
you know, the under of a shoe anymore. Right? You're kind of like, it's almost like the camera is on the ground. Again, all everything that kind of is horizontal is curving, like curving, like a, um, um, you know, like a frown on a smiley face, right? Well, I guess it's not smiling anymore. A frowny face or whatever the hell they're called. Well, you know, the emoji thingies, whatever. And the curve gets more intense the higher the higher it's placed. So, you know how on the face I usually have like a square guy, a uh, square, uh, not, not a square, but um, like a plus sign, kind of like a guideline of how I'm going to approach the face, which I'll get to in a second. But it's basically the same thing, similar thing on the chest, right? It's almost like a cross. And you can see that the line that goes across is all curved. And now I'm adding kind of, you know, I'm, not, I'm in the phase of adding details and things like that. So the, uh, but the line that goes in the middle, in the middle, the line, it's, um, it's just straight, right? But uh, once, it's, once it's like a horizontal line, you can see the curve. But the higher the curve, the higher the placement of that horizontal line, the more intense the curve actually is, the more intense the frown, basically. So as we go to the ground, the line on the ground, the curve that is, you know, for the floor that, you know, the character is st uh, standing on, that curve has the least, you know, I guess has the least curve. It's not straight, but you know. And here I'm just going in with uh, subtle details with the uh, muscle. For this drawing, the the anti view in this drawing is not too crazy. Uh, it's pretty basic. It almost looks like he's, you know, it almost looks like he's standing right in front of you, and maybe you're just a little short, or maybe not, maybe not a little short, but really short. But it's not too intense. Like if the camera was closer to his foot, then you would really see, you would really get that feel of the anti view. And I'll have an, uh, another example of that in this same video. Well, you know, for this video, we're gonna start simple, and here I'm just adding in details this is where you can go in and go in with the details and you know this character is just uh, just just a random character so here I'm going to give a quick example another example of you know what I'm talking about you see that curve in his face right you know it's kind of like the horizontal line but it's curving and since it's high up there the curve is like extra to kind of symbolize that he's you know is looking over the the height of the camera like he's looking over the camera unless he's it, it, the only way at least his head is facing the direction of his head is facing over the camera. He could be looking directly at the camera and that's where you kind of play with the character's eyes and the eyeballs and even though his head is facing, you know, the level of uh, his eye level is kind of like way above the camera, but you know, you can have him look down, but you know, that's a, that's a different thing entirely. So here we're, you know, twisting the body a little bit making the drawing a little bit more dynamic rather than just standing in front, you know, standing right in front of you. Because, you know, if you read comics or you you um, you watch movies and they have anti-views, it, it, it's rarely that simple, right? Where the, cam the, the character is right in front of you standing in that simple pose. It's not too dynamic, a little static. So here we're just, you know, playing with the same idea, but we having him in... Uh, more challenging pose. And you can see how he's, you know, his, his thighs and, you know, his, his, his leg, the whole leg is bigger than it would if, it is bigger than it, you know, usually would be if you were just standing right in front of him. Because you know the the drawing kind of gets bigger and wider as as it comes down, but at the top everything's kind of smaller, and all the curves are more are more intense. All the 
uh, horizontal curls are more intense. And anything vertical is, again, you kind of like subconsciously keep in mind that everything's kind of ha has that perspective as it, as, uh, as, it, as it goes upwards. But again, the anti angle you know, for this character, for this drawing, for this piece, it's not as intense. The next piece is going to be crazy. And those are usually the, you know, the most challenging ones. And you only get those maybe if the camera is closer to the character's feet and it's looking up. Where you would really feel like an ant. Again, you can see the curve. That every, every horizontal line has that curve. But here, again, that's kind of the vertical line. And I'm having the character's head, you know, kind of there. And then I'm going to use, have the cross in the face that's kind of like a guideline. But the, the horizontal line here, the curve is going to be really intense. And you have the ear, the ear is way down there. Uh, uh, obviously we're looking from below, so the ear is, it, the ear is usually really low on, this, uh, on the sides. We're gonna have a really dynamic drawing here. A really dynamic angle for an ant's view. Ant's eye view. So that's like kind of the chest. Uh, one, uh, his his right chest, then that's like the shoulder, and you, you'll kind of see you see everything come together in a sec. And you see that's basically it for his torso. And um, his chest is going to be, look really thin in a second. And that's the cross, and that's the curve uh, that was usually on the chest. It kind of lets you know where the character is facing. It helps guide you while you're coming up with the rest of the drawing. Now I'm about to draw his legs. Again, it, it, imagine it's like a box and you're adding legs to it. Almost think of this uh, drawing like these from a 3D standpoint. And or you and imagine you're molding this character. You're adding clay to it and things like that. That can help sometimes. You can see is uh, the body is kind of coming together, and uh, the camera. If if this was a real person, the camera is really really low. Now we have his fist. We have it, you know, by the side of his thighs, a little higher. But you know the size is huge. Like everything here, you also think of the sizes. That's under his chest. It's like it almost looks like his chest is really thin. But you know, it's just the angle that we're you know shooting from. Even though we we're on and we aren't actually shooting, but you know what I mean. And I decided to go with kind of like a, a boxer for this uh, for when it comes to adding the details for this drawing. But again, you have that. Feel free, like feel very free when you're doing drawings like this. Don't be afraid. That would be like his other, sh uh, sh uh, his left shoulder, but it's not really gonna show. So we're gonna see just see a little bit of it. And I'm gonna have his hand bend a little, and his like his right hand, his right fist be closer to his face, so you can see how the right fist is smaller than the left fist in this drawing. But they're you know, in, if he was standing right in front of us and we were like a similar height, it would be, you know, the same size. Here you figure out where his elbow is and you just join the shoulder and his um, and his forearm. Uh, you you kind of just put the whole arm together. The elbow just kind of helps you, guides you, and make sure your proportions are right. Drawings like this, if you're drawing like a female character that, has, you know, is maybe the character has, a, you know, killer hips or something like that, drawings like this will be very, you know, complicated. So I have a separate video on that where I'll do a female character uh, with a bird's eye view and a anti view, so y'all can stay tuned for that. But here, just going to focus on the, you know, the basics and get some experience with it before we get into that really tough stuff. So here I'm just going in with details, making sure everything looks right, erasing, putting things together, 
and you know that's how his head will look but I was trying to say maybe trying to give a different example maybe changing where his head is actually facing and I'll play around with the cross to you know get the angle I want usually when I do the cross that when you're drawing anti view you usually almost always see the character's nostrils unless he has a weird face so you see under like you see from under his face so you get to see his nostrils now I have a, a separate video drawing uh, character faces uh, character faces from anti view and bird's eye view uh, so I have a video linking to those specifically so f uh, for this video forget about me adding the actual details and just focus on the actual placing of the uh, of uh, the body and the anatomy and how things are put together rather than the actual details forget about those right now here you know I was just you know playing around trying to decide where I wanted his head to face if you wanted if I wanted it to be a little more side view so you see like the profile of his nose uh, and I think my last option was just to have him kind of look down a little bit so you kind of play around with the neck sometimes you might not in sometimes some of these drawings you might not be able to see the character's neck at all uh, but we're just imagining for this case that this particular character has you know a decent length for a neck so here the boxer going in with more details shading putting things together making sure they look right you know that cross that, that that cross for the chest that's kind of like a guideline that guides you how the chest is going to go it, it's like supposed to be in the middle of his body it doesn't look like it is but it actually is those are things that play around you know play with your mind a little bit so here we you know have the boxer shorts or whatever we just play around and shade a little bit and this is kind of like the stage you get to to uh, before you um, you know add this say if you're making a comic then you go in with inks and if you notice uh, his knees again they all have that curve so rather than his knees being on the same level the knee on the the knee on the on the on the right is much lower than the one on the left but that's how it's supposed to be because of how he's standing so you need to keep uh, keep in mind of all these things a lot of stuff you know a lot of this takes practice but I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video as a whole, and I hope you guys took a little, you know took away stuff and learned. You can practice with stuff like this at home, and um, I'll always, I'll also like to see you know what some of you can actually achieve from these videos and you know, watching these videos and actually creating your own anti-view drawings. And maybe you can link them and show me uh, uh, on Facebook or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's really pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please ask questions if you have any. And stay tuned for the other, the next video that will be like this. But it will be the anti view and bird's eye view. But uh, I'll be doing it with um, uh, females from a challenging angle. Uh, here's a simple test with a paper towel uh, with Sharpie. I just wrote a H on it. You can see like the horizontal lines and you can see the vertical lines on it. And we're going to try and look from, you know, like we're ants looking really close to this paper towel. You can see the H, uh, the line, the horizontal line has that curve. And the other two lines are kind of like, they're almost like they're uh, lines that are going to meet each other at some point, you know almost like they have that perspective and that's really all this is uh, uh, you kind of just have to adopt that mentality around and basically you do the opposite when it's a bird's eye view and also don't forget to check out Apple Black uh, that's my comic and you can check out the first four chapters for free in the about section below I'll leave links to that it's published in Serialize and Saturday AM I'm gonna check out what Saturday AM is and check out all the other comics that are on Saturday AM I'll leave links in the about section below as well. You can check out Apple Black Volume 1. That's also available. And yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, favorite, uh, subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah.
that's pretty much it guys this is white manga and i'm out